What's up, everybody? My name is Blue Drake, and by now, I hope I've made a little bit of a reputation for myself as the guy that shows off cool new cutting edge technology. And today, I want to show you something else that I think is really cool. Welcome to the CAE Prodigy Image Generator. This is basically a game engine, but the difference is that at its core, it utilizes Unreal Engine. So, in a way, this is kind of like a completely different branch of the Unreal Engine project being built by a different company that does completely different crazy things. Now, this video might get a little bit complicated, so I want you to bear with me, but I think it's going to be worth your time. All right, let's talk about Prodigy. Now, if you've never heard of this game engine before, that probably makes sense. There's a whole bunch of different game engines that I've covered on this channel in the past that aren't really utilized for entertainment purposes and are more used to develop training applications for either the military or other organizations. Now, I've gotten flack for covering stuff like this in the past, because naturally the first things that people say is, well, Blue Drake, if this is just an engine used for developing only military simulation software, then why are you covering it? What does this have to do with game development? And here's the thing. The worlds of game development and simulation development for non-entertainment purposes is pretty deeply intertwined, and I know that a lot of you guys just know me as the funny YouTuber guy that makes videos about cool stuff, but I myself am not only leading the development of our own game, Operation Harsh Doorstop, but in order to get into that industry, I've actually done a significant amount of contract work with a whole bunch of organizations that develop simulations for non-entertainment purposes. And a lot of those organizations where do they recruit all of the talent and all of the people to develop stuff like this? Well, what do you know it? From the game development industry. So that's why I think it always makes sense to talk about both sides, both the entertainment and the simulation side and what's going on with both. Because there's a lot of crossover. A lot of the technology that you see in the simulation space over time starts to move its way into the entertainment space and vice versa as well, which I think is pretty evident with the inclusion of Unreal Engine into their product. So I think it's not a waste of time to look at some of the really cool stuff that some of these amazing companies are making that do things that you've probably never seen before in your life. And also, the cool thing about my unique position is that I also get to play with some of these myself from time to time, which is pretty awesome. Now, details and information on image generators, which is basically just a fancy name for game engine, is pretty scarce, especially for some of the more high-end leading simulation software utilized by some of the largest militaries in the world. But if you want to learn more about this yourself, you can click the link down below and you can go get more information on their website or a lot of the videos that they post on their own YouTube channel. There are a lot of different IGs out there if you want to look for other image generators like Titan IM or even the VBS series, which is kind of like a branch of Arma, but utilized for simulation purposes. You can also look into those. There's a lot of really, really cool ones. A couple of them even have demos online that you can download and play, although not many. Now, with Prodigy, the cool thing is, is that this is probably one of the more advanced and best looking image generators I've seen in the simulation space, which has a lot to do with their inclusion of Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine technology. I think it is really cool seeing Unreal Engine utilized more and more in that space in that way. And I think showing how Unreal Engine can be incorporated into a completely different engine in a way in order to create this giant cohesive product isn't just a showcase of how flexible and awesome Unreal Engine can be, but it's also a showcase of how flexible and awesome Epic Games, the developers of Unreal Engine, can be. I think that if you can have something like Prodigy that incorporates parts of Unreal Engine in order to create basically a completely new engine, there's no saying that you might be able to do that again in other ways, both for the simulation or the entertainment world. Perhaps in the future, Unreal Engine technology yet again could be incorporated into a completely different game engine that does even bigger stuff that has nothing to do with Unreal Engine 5 that could be even cooler. Look at Lumberyard, for instance, and how they transform that from CryEngine. Those are the kinds of things that I could totally see happening in the future, and I think Prodigy is kind of an example of that. Now, what are the kinds of things that Prodigy does that other game development engines can't do? Well, when it comes to image generators, the main thing is scale, and not just scale, but also 
density. Some of the coolest technology that I've seen in leading IGs is how dense of an environment they can have. Obviously with games like Arma, if you have like a huge city, you can only have so many roads and buildings before you start bleeding performance. But with a lot of the image generators that I've seen in the simulation space, especially when they start incorporating artificial intelligence to dynamically populate areas so they can have just impossibly dense environments without bleeding performance, that concept I think is going to be something that over time is gonna have an even bigger bigger impact on the game development industry. So that way, if you have a game with an entire planet, it's not just gonna be a giant, empty, barren planet. It's going to be a planet rich with detail and information to create a really interesting and rich experience no matter where you go. Now, I think the main reason that I'm interested in talking about Prodigy is because a lot of people talk about Arma as the ultimate military simulation game when it comes to scale and realism, and Unreal Engine is still primarily utilized to build much smaller scale games. When you look at things like Hell Let Loose, or Squad, or even other games that have been coming out with Unreal Engine, the scope is very small. Four kilometer maps, no more than 100 players, hey, still fun, right? But definitely nothing to the same scale as Arma Terrain, or even Arma player counts, depending on the server that you're on. But this is why I think things like this is so cool. A project like Prodigy shows how you could technically utilize Unreal Engine technology, but incorporate absolute massive environments going way beyond something that even Arma is capable of. And if you could take something like Insurgency Sandstorm or Squad or Hell Let Loose or other entertainment-based products, but then have those features in a massive scale game, I think that that is something that we are looking at within the next couple of years. We're already seeing that happening in the simulation space, and I think it's only a matter of time before that starts working its way over to the Unreal Engine Entertainment game development community. Hey, possibly for Operation Harsh Doorstop? We'll just have to see. All right, if you guys want to check this out, make sure you check the link below. There's a whole wealth of information. It's super fun to look at. Yes, not all of these things you can get your hands on yourself, unless you're super lucky, but it's still super fun to look at. And I think it is a great indication of what is just around the corner, not just for simulators, but also for game development as well. Thanks so much for watching. It's been a Blue Drake. I hope you guys enjoy all the cool stuff that I show you on this channel. If you want to stick around for more of that, make sure you press that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.